funny, I watch these videos and I see people making their beds and they're like making the whole bed. I like don't even move when I sleep and so my bed is only messed up in one teeny tiny area and like one pillow. Like how are you guys sleeping where you're, where all your blankets are like messed up? never use a frother. It's 6 30 now. I'm almost never like mentally awake and thinking until I start drinking this and then I just go over what do I have to do today. It's Monday so I'm looking at the whole week. I don't really want to like share the details of what I'm doing but I have different colors for different things. I do a different color for like the nighttime things. I'm going to dinner with my parents this weekend. Ever since I started doing this, I am a lot more productive. It's like this blank calendar pad, so you can put in any days. <sighs> Trick to getting up early is just getting up. That's why I have my phone in the other room. There's emails coming in already at 6.30. <sighs> The key to actually getting up and getting out of bed is making sure you know what you're gonna do next. <sighs> I find that whatever I like seek to wake me up, like whatever dopamine I seek is how I continue to like search for that all day. So if I wake up and I go right to Instagram or TikTok, then all day long I have like this social media habit. And when I don't start my day with my phone, I don't really have the same experience at all. So start my day with the book, the Bible. It's super easy because it's a daily Bible, so it just says like today's date, and then you read what it says today. <sighs> I would say the most exciting thing I'm doing this week is a TikTok giveaway. Guys, I hit 100k, so we're doing a giveaway! I ordered all the stuff. It's actually still in boxes over there. And then I have a bunch of PR that I'm going to throw in there because it's like... Sometimes you receive the same things twice and I don't need to but also if it's really good like my mascara is so good I want to give it away. I want someone else to experience it and this video will go up on Wednesday And if you want to enter it, you just have to go follow me on TikTok and Instagram and Like and comment on the video. Anyways I'm gonna drink the rest of this and we're gonna go to the gym My workouts are underneath my computer here Today is Monday, September 11th. So we are doing hit full body. Oh, are we really? I don't want to do that. Let me mentally prepare while I put my shoes on. Sun's coming up. I love when it does this. This light on the wall just makes me so happy. So I did two Chloe Ting ab workouts and then 20 minutes of incline walking and now I feel so strong and I'm gonna get in the shower. You know, sometimes I really hate showering. Not today. That was a good shower. Oh, it's 7.45 right now. I usually aim to be ready around 8.45. Eye cream. And that includes doing my hair and makeup and getting dressed. 
take like an hour to do that try to still stay off my phone at this point moisturizer like i mentioned earlier it's just like a bad habit if i start using my phone early in the day then i keep using my phone this is a no phone zone sometimes i'll play music or a podcast but I keep my phone like way over there because if it's right in front of me, I literally will just keep picking it up and looking at it. It's so dumb, but like I can't stop. So we're gonna put the phone over there and continue listening to the same song on repeat because that's what I've been doing all morning. This is my current favorite song. It's so good. I have this friend who always has like the best song recommendations. She recommended, well, she posted this one on her Instagram story and I was like, Thank you so much. And the other one she just showed me in the car one time, it's called Kissing When We're Mad by, I'll have to find it later, by them. And then Double XL by Lainey, they're like the same tune. And like she has such a specific music taste. Her song recommendations put me on a high for like a week, so. do my hair today I feel like it kind of looks good so L'Oreal sent like all of their primers let's try this one out today this part of my morning routine always looks a little different my work week is kind of like it looks different every day on Mondays I film a lot today is Monday therefore I'm putting makeup on today this OG complexion stick is like my in-between makeup I don't really consider it a foundation this is what I wear when I'm like okay I have to look nice because this stuff looks great on camera but it doesn't really feel like you're wearing any makeup on your face and then my full face is like a real foundation and my no makeup is tinted sunscreen we're going for like a medium day. Last night I made dinner with my friend and we kind of talked about my birthday next week. She's planning a whole dinner and it's a surprise. I love surprises. How cool is it that I don't even have to think about my birthday. I have a friend who's willing to do everything. How did I get so lucky? This tart contour is really good. Sculpt tape. It's kind of new. I've only been using it for a week. I can say I really enjoy it. I'm using the OG blush as well. I mentioned I'm filming today. Uh, probably like four or five videos. You know what? We're not always in the mood to film. So this is my trick on how to get in the mood. I just try to have a really fun morning. Nothing is too serious. Enjoying the music. Just enjoying life. Alright. Makeup's done. Hair's done. This is the current state of my closet. These are clean clothes. I just decided to throw them on the floor because these are also clean clothes, this whole stack. Everything's clean. I did all the laundry, I just didn't finish putting it away. It's going through stuff for the giveaway. I think I'm gonna put all of this in the giveaway. But for now, we're just gonna ignore all of this, pretend like it's not here, and find something to wear. Just kidding about getting dressed. I'm wearing a hoodie and jeans because I realized that the first thing I'm filming is a clothing haul. So it really doesn't matter. But now I'm gonna go make breakfast and get my day started. My vacuum is outside. Roger! <gasps> Roger! Get inside. Are you kidding? I feel so dumb for that. We're just gonna have to close that. We're gonna pretend like that doesn't happen often. <laughs> my camera died, but it is now nine o'clock. I finished my protein shake. Now is when I just kind of get my day started. I hope you enjoyed going through this morning routine with me and took some inspiration from it. I love having a morning routine. I've been doing this for a little over two months and I've just found that it really, really works for me. I truly don't think that I could do this morning routine without keeping my phone in the other room. So I am lucky I have 
a bathroom right next to my room. So if I keep my phone in my bathroom right there, I'm going to wake up. What that does is it forces me to get out of bed and actually turn the alarm off. You just have to really pay attention to yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm always very cold when I wake up. So I put out workout clothes underneath my phone. So I have to pick up my phone, turn the alarm off, and then there's just clothes right there for me. Every single time I'm like, I'm just gonna put these clothes on because I'm so cold. And that kind of plays into my second tip, which is eliminate decision-making in the morning. If you have to wake up and start making decisions, you're gonna be like, I can't think, I can't do this, I'm tired. You might consider, let me go back to bed or let me at least like sit there, or let me scroll on my phone because the screen wakes up my eyes. Yeah, we all know that your phone screen helps you wake up but by just creating a healthy routine of things that you know are going to benefit the rest of your day and just going through the motions, it's so much easier to follow a morning routine and be ready by, it's literally 9.01. That's wild. If you told me that like last spring, that I would be absolutely ready for my day, worked out and fed, and showered by 9 a.m. I would have been like that's just not me but you know life changes and I got to a point where I was so busy that I just can't can't let my mornings get away from me anymore so that's why I've created this little routine and I've tweaked it and perfected it to a place where I am now and it's just so perfect for me I used to work out immediately I used to literally wake up put my workout clothes on drink pre-workout and leave the house within 10 minutes of rolling out of bed but there are a couple things that like made me want to change that one cortisol and like consuming high amounts of caffeine right when you wake up i don't think that's necessarily healthy so i tried to wait like 30 minutes and i just found the perfect time to like read my daily bible and journal it's definitely not always fun but it is a challenge that i've come to really enjoy is like reflection and starting off slow it's so easy to just get up in the morning and be like okay well what do i have to tackle today i have all these things that i need to do and it's very difficult to be like i'm going to take all those things and put them in the back of my brain and focus on my heart so i like to journal because it's a healthy challenge i wrote down some tips while i was charging my camera i put the purpose don't lose your purpose by getting obsessed with the routine what i mean by that is so this week on wednesday i have a dinner and it's probably gonna go until like 11 p.m am i going to turn to my friends and be like guys thanks so much someone venmo request me like cover the tab because i gotta get out of here i have a morning routine to do no the great thing about this routine is that even if you do it three times a week and you plan to do it three times a week but then two days a week you do a different morning routine, a more chill morning routine where you sleep in a little bit later, it's still gonna work. It's kind of about like, what is your purpose? What is your purpose in doing this? My purpose in doing this is that I am so busy, I want to still fit in these healthy habits, but I don't really have the time during the day. And if I take the time during the day, then all my work stacks up to the end of the week and then I push it over to next week and it's a never ending cycle. So I've created a morning routine to just help me feel better because when I work out, I feel better, routine just feels good to me. But that does not mean that I have to do it every day. So I would encourage you to find a morning routine that works for you, but don't lose the purpose by getting obsessed with the routine. And also I'm sharing a morning routine, but before the morning routine comes the night routine. The night routine involves cleaning up the kitchen, making sure that my space is clean. Because if I wake up and I come out to the living room to do my daily journaling, and the living room is a mess and there's stuff everywhere and I have to move it, it's gonna mess up my morning routine. So sometimes your morning routine does involve changing a few things in your nightly routine, like putting out your outfit, putting out your supplements, getting everything ready, and going back to a dinner that might end and get me home at 11 p.m. I am not gonna do this morning routine and I'm probably also not gonna do the night routine. I need that nightly routine of picking up, tidying up, setting things out, but a nightly routine on a night that I'm going out with friends looks different. The house might still be a mess, therefore that morning routine for me is like sleep in a little later, get up, clean everything, and then sit down and read. If you're interested in going through that morning routine with me, let me know, but this is my productive morning routine. It's been working for me so well for so long. I'm just obsessed with it. And I know you guys like productivity because that's what performs best on my TikTok. Actual applicable advice and tips. So yeah, thank you for spending my morning with me. I hope you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I will see you next week. Oh,